Hi, I'm Lindsay. I'm a senior outside hitter from Papillion, Nebraska. I'm Mary. I'm a senior. <laughs> What's so funny about your name? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm Mary. I'm a senior opposite from Garnell, Alabama. And, and this welcome. is episode five of Cozy <laughs> with the. And welcome to episode <laughs> five of Cozy, Cozy with, with the, the Corn Huskers. Huskers. Are we just gonna do a QA? and a I think we should. Okay. Okay. And then if we feel the need to digress, we can. Okay. I'm scared. Okay. Um, so one of our good friends asked three words to describe yourself. Hmm. I'm gonna go with kind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, street smart. Not book smart though. So that's two words. So you're out of words. That's three. It goes together. Okay. It's hyphenated Hyphen. in this um, instant. And motherly. What's yours? <laughs> the total package. And you what? <laughs> it's three words. You said four words. Mine no, is three words. Hyphenated. Okay. It do doesn't you, count. Do you want to open and ask questions too, or do you? I can I can drive. No, if no, you let want. me get on it. Okay. Well, while you're doing that, I already have one. What's your favorite? What's your favorite weird food combo? We're not starting out very good. What's your favorite <laughs> weird food combo? Um, I don't think I eat that many weird things. What do I weird? What do I eat weird? Dinner foods for breakfast. It's not weird. It's disgusting. Oh. Yeah. Um. A uh, chipotle bowl for breakfast is crazy. Or even worse, gray whale, a pokey bowl. Yeah, that was poke? good. How do you say that? Poke. I, poke. I'm not sure. Poke. Yeah, that's gross. Um, I think it is perfectly normal, personally. I don't know about the audience. But I think it's perfectly normal to eat food whenever you're hungry. Why do we have to no. associate different foods with different times of the day? No. That's ridiculous. I eat food. I eat what I want when I want it. What can I say? I agree to disagree on okay. that one. Okay. Um, what's your biggest red flag? Like my red flag or like my red flag when like... Your red flag. Oh. God. What were you about to say? Like like when you're like looking for a boyfriend maybe. Oh. Like what's like your biggest red flag you're saying? No, no, no. No, me. Yours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's too many to count. <laughs> Um, I think my biggest red flag is probably <laughs> What do you think my biggest red flag is? <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't say this for you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to let um, you answer for yourself. Um, I think my biggest mm. red flag is um, that I spend way too much money to be f financially independent. Wait, that doesn't sound right. I'm, I'm not like in debt. <laughs> financially independent makes that this sound. This is not the red flag no. that I was expecting um, there to be. I meant, I just spend a lot of money. Like I shouldn't, oh, I meant, when I said financially independent, I meant I shouldn't be allowed to be in charge of my own bank account. I see, I shouldn't I see. be allowed to just be like, yeah, I want that. You need a financial advisor. I do, I do. So financial advisors, hit Lindsay up. Lindsay Krause, you know where to find me. Yeah. Yeah. What's hmm. your biggest red flag? That I have trust issues. Yeah. Well, that was simpler. <laughs> okay, next I'm one. sure I could have said something. I <laughs> probably just should have said that. <laughs> Um, Your mom's gonna text you. Mm -hmm. um, if you could be a background character in any movie, what would you choose? Why are you asking? Any guys? movie. I'm sure you've seen a movie in your <laughs> life. Merritt doesn't watch movies. That often. She likes to say, because I'd always ask her if she's seen a movie. She'd always say no, so I just stopped asking. Um, can I do a TV show instead? I guess. I would want to be in Vampire Diaries. As a vampire or as a regular high school student? Um, hmm, as a vampire. Yeah, that seems like the only right answer. I mean, a regular <laughs> high school student, you can be that in any show. <laughs> I, I was that in best. real life, so. You're so right. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I was once that. Lindsay actually was a vampire in high I school. I actually <laughs> was a vampire in high school. I kind of grew out of it. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> oh, um, 
What's the most amount of bobby pins you ever had in your head at one time? <laughs> I received a selfie in response to Oh, I did question. too. Just wait. Oh, it's actually, a it's a video. Oh, don't play it. <laughs> okay, sorry. What was your question? What's the most amount of bobby pins you've ever had at oh, one time? Probably only like four. In your head? Probably really? Like four. Don't have enough hair for that to... Yeah, fair. Um, I think mine... At least like eight. I believe that. Um, I always keep the front part of my head. These hairs are always sh shorter, but I I rarely wear like high ponytails. So when I wear low ponytails, like they never fit. So I have to use like at least four, just pinning those back. Mm. And then the rest just find their way in my head somehow. I always forget to leave. I always leave one in my hair when I'm like taking it out to like shower after games and I brush my hair and I feel like I have a massive knot in my head and it's just a bobby pin I forgot. Okay. Yeah. Um, most embarrassing story. Just in life? Yeah. I think you should go first. I, I'm sure you've been embarrassed before. I mean, yeah, I Always, get embarrassed easily, I but think, nothing that would like oh, be a funny story. You I know what I'm one. saying? I have one. Okay, go ahead. Remember when this happened? I think maybe last fall. It was when we were going to training table. I don't have to hold my microphone over here. <laughs> no. Yeah, you're eating that thing. Um, <laughs> it was when, obviously, you and Bergen both drive white Jeeps. <laughs> And at the time, one of our one of our teammates was dating a guy who also kind of drove the same car, the exact same white Jeep Grand yeah, Cherokee. Yeah, like a white Jeep Grand Cherokee or whatever. Um, and I don't have the best eyesight, and so I was That's being generous. I was walking into like training table where we eat, and I was a good distance from the car. But Merritt doesn't have a front license plate because in Alabama they don't require that, and neither did he. Um, so I made like a kissy face at the car. I was like, <laughs> like literally for like so long because I thought it was Merit. And then it wasn't, it wasn't Merit. It was one of my, lucky enough, it was one of my teammates' boyfriends, but we were not close enough for it to be like funny in the moment. So yeah. I just shameless, shameless, no, shameful, shamefully walked away. Yeah. That was embarrassing. Yes, because then our teammate, they were joking about it, and, and he brought it up to our teammate, and she was like, yeah, I'm sure it was an accident. After I had already told her I did it, and she knew it was an accident, she's like, yeah, I bet it was an accident. I don't know, though. I was like, rude. rude. But that was really embarrassing. That's okay. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. Okay, your turn. Um. Oh. <laughs> Why do we wear cap sleeves? <laughs> and will we get sleeveless jerseys? I mean, the cap sleeves are basically just sleeveless jerseys. Yeah, there's like, what, two more inches on there? I don't know. It's not like they ask us what we want. Yeah. They just give us jerseys. They just show up in the locker and I don't tell mind us which it. ones to wear. I don't mind it. Mm, I don't love the cap sleeves, but... Would you rather, like, full sleeves? Or, I mean, like, long, short sleeves? <laughs> Like a does that make sense? Like a soccer jersey, kind like a of regular vibe? short sleeve no. shirt. I just like long sleeve jerseys. Like I guess like Purdue, I guess has like sleeves, like actual. Oh short yeah, they sleeves. do, but it's tight. Yeah, are tight, right? I, th I think. Yeah, they. But are. But would you prefer that to what we have as cap sleeves? No. You would just want sleeveless altogether. Um, I would just rather wear long sleeve jerseys. Okay, got it. Understood. Yeah, got it. <laughs> Um, I like the short sleeve personally. As in cap sleeve or like you want sleeveless? As in cap sleeve. I mean, I don't mind sleeveless. I just don't, <laughs> I don't wear, um, arm sleeves. So I just, I get so annoyed when I see teams <laughs> and <laughs> I guess you did this, but like sleeveless with the sleeves. It's like, what's the point? To just cool. wear long sleeves. To look cool and just fashionable. Just wear long sleeves. You're basically wearing long sleeve jerseys. You just cut out like six inches of a shoulder. Yeah, it's to let the armpits breathe. Hmm. I don't, I think it's, I. 
No. Okay. But to answer the question, no. Okay. Yeah. If you were stuck on an island and you could only bring one item, what would it be? My blanket. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This one. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. What would you bring? Like a machete or something. <laughs> something to help me survive I'm sure there's like tree nuts or something what <laughs> if you're looking for survival wouldn't you take like a cell phone or something well it's not gonna have a cell tower how do you know because it's it a, just says an island a deserted it island does it say that it doesn't know <laughs> no it just says island it could be hawaii for all we know well what if it's darn not? it well <gasps> what's our favorite thing about each other hmm, hmm might take me a minute wow <laughs> just kidding it was a joke that's fine on top of that I what was our favorite oh. thing about living with each other wait i we have to go one oh, question at a time you're right okay okay go my favorite thing about <laughs> Lindsay. i'm trying to decide oh okay which one i'm gonna so say. there's a few options yeah oh good i would say okay i don't know if this would be like my favorite but this is what impresses me the most oh. is that fine yeah is how freaking good your memory is it's oh. absurd she'll be like one specific character's shoe in a movie and she remembers it yeah no, she cool. remembers everything yeah i, I do i do it's but a, other than that i would say like how intellectual you oh, are oh that's so nice of you big word uh, that's so nice of you i while we're while we're complimenting each other's you know psyche psyche i would say your emotional intelligence oh. is admirable thank you you're welcome man that's so cute of us i know okay can we stop now we're like adults well, so what was your favorite thing about living with me hmm. <laughs> see i knew there was not gonna be an answer for this one i knew it no my favorite thing about my, my favorite thing about living with Merit is that she cleans everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know what mine is. I'm listening. When I'm Lindsay and Piper would make me dinner. Oh, those were fun. Those were like family dinners. It was always what is that same, kind of chicken like called? Chicken piccata. Yeah, it's like lemon, lemon. It was always the same, but it was always good. Pasta. It is good. He it taught me good. how to make it. He always makes it. It's really not that complicated, but it's it's good. Okay, this is one's for you. What is your favorite cat breed? That's I mean, I don't really have a favorite cat breed because like cats are just cats. And like, I know there's a lot of different breeds, but I mean like, there's just different breeds that you have to like buy because they're super expensive. My cat's a calico cat. That's not a breed. That's just the color of her fur. Oh, okay. But I love calico cats. It just means that they have, it means that they're all three colors. They're orange, black, and white. I almost said red. They're orange, black, and white. Okay, so not a good question. I'll do another one. No, that's one. fine. No, I like that question. But my boyfriend's cat is also calico. They're both all three colors. And fun fact. <laughs> Volunteer at the cat house, people. That's not what I was going to say. Fun I'll say fact it for you. is only female cats can be calico. Why? Because their fur color is... Uh, passed from their parents on their x chromosome oh that's cute so when females have two x chromosomes they can have multiple fur colors but males only have one x chromosome so they can only have as many as two different colors this is what i meant mm -hmm. she's just however, full of random knowledge however, that no one else knows if the male cat has the genetic <laughs> disorder of Klinefelter syndrome that means that they I have wasn't joking. two X chromosomes and y, one Y chromosome, then they could be calico, but that is very rare. Why do you know that? I Googled it. <laughs> Moving on. Mm -hmm. um, What's your spirit animal? I don't know. Why'd you make that face? I don't think about that. I feel like yours would, not in like a bad way, but it'd be something super like not like exotic like basic like yeah. a dog yeah that's what i was gonna say like a i don't have one i've never been like mm, mm, that's, that's me spirit animal well same yours is a cat like a house cat yeah okay for sure i'd be but i'd be like i'd be like the mean old house cat i wouldn't be like the social cat no yeah you would be piper's cat <laughs> she just hides all day poor thing exactly yeah 
Okay. Um, <gasps> you okay, go. go ahead. I have a cute one. Okay, It go. just says, what's your favorite nickname? Uh, Should we say... There's so many. No, there's so many. Wait, is it like, what's your favorite nicknames that you get called? Or we can do my both. favorite nicknames for you? We can do both. Okay. Am I going first? Or yeah, you? you can. Hmm. You do have a lot. I would say mine for Lindsay... I think the cutest is Grandma Linda, Aunt Linda. Mm -hmm. I think that's cute, but no one ever really calls you no. it. I just say Lens because it's easy. Mm -hmm. But you don't have that many. Mm -mm. I say the ones Lens, I have though. are like not related to my name at all. Like Brennan calling me Draco, or in Merle, Merle, Dragon Lady. Yeah, but those are just that's not like an everyday thing. Yeah. You have a lot though. Like every day at practice, we could call you. There's a new one. What? There's just oh, there's new, a new ones. One. All yeah, the yeah. Time. There's like, Mer I almost said there's Merit. <laughs> that's that's your name. But there's Merb, Merby, uh, Mare. I say Mare a lot. I'll say Mare Bear. Sometimes me and Andy might throw like a Merbit. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot. That's just ones I can think of MB, right now. MB. MB3. Three. Three. Meredith. You know. Mer, Mer, Mildred. It? Mildred. Mildred. It, the new one's Marito. And I always go, Marito Burrito. No, that's not good. Yeah. Coaches but the, never make sense. But the thing was, Meredith was an accident. Like, yeah, he straight he didn't up just know. called her <laughs> Meredith one time. No, one time. It was like for the first it two was a months. It was a couple times. It was a couple times. But when he called you Mildred, that was on purpose. That was him just trying to be funny. Yeah. But hit no. Mildred. Yeah, he said hit it. <laughs> when I short served it, it didn't go over the net. <laughs> he has the funniest name sometimes. Okay, what's your favorite one for you? Oh, probably just Lynn's. I mean, I don't have a lot of fun ones. Everyone on the go. Uh oh. Co well, I just think how Coach will always either call me Krause or LK. I actually you know? really like LK. No, I don't mind it, but I think he does it because Wish, his first name is Lindsay, and he calls her Lindsay. You know, mm. all of us call her Wish, but he calls her Lindsay. So I think that's the reason he calls me LK. However, everyone like, <laughs> like the boys, like our GAs and stuff, like they'll call me Krause sometimes. I'll be like, my name's Lindsay. You don't like Krause? No, I don't I think it's cute. I don't dislike it. It's just I would like to be called by my first name a little more. That's fair. You know. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah, that's all. Um, Chipotle order, go. <gasps> okay. I usually get a salad just because I like less rice and more lettuce. It's literally the same thing as a bowl, just less rice, more lettuce, because you still get rice in it. And chicken, and then. I think you're the only person I've ever Vegeta met. Vegeta veggies a salad. <laughs> okay. Vegeta veggies Continue. and a lot of pico. I always have to ask for two scoops. Okay. And then the corn, and I'm trying to picture the line. A little bit of sour cream. Sometimes they go too crazy with yeah, that stuff. Yeah, they do. And then half of the tub on that. Bowl. If I'm at agave, shout out okay, agave. Well, people don't know what agave is. It's in Lincoln, Nebraska. It's I'll probably get it for dinner after this. It's Real. I'll also get cilantro and onions because they just have raw onions in the line, and I love onions. So okay, that's what I'll get. Yeah, what's yours? I get a bowl with. White rice, no beans. No. Chicken, I have newly found the vinaigrette. Oh. That's what it's called, yeah? The honey, Their little the dressing. honey vinaigrette. It's actually good. It's I didn't spicy. like it at first, though. But it's kind of growing on me. Um, chicken, and then I get pico, corn, a little bit of sour cream, a little bit of cheese, and a little bit of lettuce. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Period. chips. I oh, chips, yes. love... Awkward. Tortilla chips. What's the what was the weirdest thing about Nebraska when you came from the South? Especially, I guess, because Florida is still considered the South. It's Florida's like about as southern as you can get. I know, but I mean, like, I guess because I think when they say the South, they mean because you're from Alabama. Oh, you mean like I mean, country redneck South, not like geographic. No, I mean both. Cool South. Just leave. Just, just. The t it's okay. 
Okay, what's the question? The what was the difference? weirdest thing about? No, the weirdest thing about like coming here. I guess I guess biggest difference. You could, all. Could, yeah. And pop. I don't say pop. I say soda. I just say but, coke. No, but I do a lot of people. A lot of people do say pop though. I would say like those like weird food differences, but for the most part, okay, the cold. Bleh, but yeah, I most guess like things vernacular, aren't or just like stuff like that. That different. No, it's not. And it's also also because like you were from like small town yeah. Alabama, and we're I mean I wouldn't say this is small town Nebraska because there's definitely small town Nebraska, but it's not like this is a big town. Com- yeah. Like in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, I would say there's more things that are alike than there are different. For sure, that would make sense. Um, do you watch Love Island? I do. I don't. UK or USA? This both. It says, do you watch <sighs> Love Island UK or USA? I watch both. Do you watch both at, at the I same do. time? Yes. Is that hard to keep up? No. Which do you prefer? Because their their new episodes come out at different times. Oh, so which do you prefer? I like UK better because it's funny hearing how they talk. Like, just not necessarily their accent, but just like, can I pull you for a chat? Well, or he's so fit. Or I'm like, you like can just say he's cute. Like their um, their slang. Different. Yeah. Like, well, they, and they have very different slang yes. too. So that's fun. Yeah. No, that's fair. So, that makes sense. I like UK better, but. The USA one this year had a lot of drama, so I liked that. Really? But. I don't watch Love Island. Yeah. I don't really watch. Like reality shows. Yeah. I did watch the first few seasons of Too Hot to Handle, however. I did watch that. I haven't in since. I think I mm, grew up. Oh, this is a good question. Okay, I'm listening. If you had to pick anyone from another college volleyball team to join our team, who would it be? And you can only pick one. Do you have another, do you have an answer that pops in your head right away? Because I feel like hmm. I need to think about this. The way that I like can't like think of a team now suddenly. I'm like, huh, what's college? I think I would just like pick one of my friends. No, same. Oh yeah, I'd like pick you Nora would pick from Nora. Korean. Yeah. yeah. No, that makes sense. But there were, there's like a lot of people that I would pick for Ooh, like for friends. sure, for sure. Oh yeah. There's so many people I'm great friends with. <gasps> what? I just read a fun question. What was it? Okay. If you could be any potato, what would you be? Like mashed or hash or country potatoes for breakfast? I would be scalloped. A barbecue potato. Is Have that, you ever had a barbecue potato? No, I don't think so. <sighs> Is that like a baked potato you just put barbecue sauce on? And like pulled pork. Oh, and so and it's, like, it like it's like acts as the bread. What? Of like a pork. So yeah, it like kinda, acts yeah, as the bread of like yeah, a pulled pork yeah, yeah. sandwich. No, that makes sense. I thought you meant the pork acts like the bread. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no. No. No, no that actually yeah. sounds really good. I love them. No, I love potatoes. So that does sound excellent. Yeah. Or like a, mm. like a good cheesy you potato casserole. Yeah. Yeah. With Solid like the cornflakes on top. Can't go wrong with no, a potato. That sounds really good. I was gonna start talking about the red spandex. No! Yes! Cut out the red red spandex. spandex. Well, I think red spandex should happen Mm -mm. if we wear black jerseys. I think black jerseys with red spandex. Mind you, not no red, no like red accents. Like literally, just black and white jerseys. Like black jerseys with white lettering, with red spandex. We would look so cool. Lindsay. And Mara is so against it because she's like, I played at Florida. We had blue spandex. I know what it's like. Yes, and me and you are sweaters. And you do I not want that. <laughs> would power through. I think for the looks, for the aesthetic, if you will. I think we would look so cool. Too many mishaps and can go wrong I with will, light colored spandex. I will die on that hill. Okay. You're gonna die so low on that hill. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm gonna die low. <laughs> but that's okay. Whatever. Um, whatever. Whatever, <laughs> whatever. Whatever, whatever. What was your first impression of me? Honestly, I don't remember because I was so, like, I don't wanna say intimidated, but, like, a lot was going on when I first met you. Oh, for sure. You know? It was like that awkward, like, lunch we had. Yeah, right in coach's office. office. <laughs> it was like you, me, coaches, and, and Lexi, and 
I thought it was was it, oh I thought it was Kenna. I think Kenna was also there. Oh okay. Yeah. But Lexi had to leave. But it was, was so home. random, remember? It was so random. And then Coach <laughs> brought out his tea. Yes. And you're like, oh thanks. I and know. I'm like, he's like, you should drink this. It's good for your gut. Yeah. I'm like thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So nice honestly, I don't remember because I was just so like, ah, ah, so much was going no, that's on. That's so fair. Well, and you were also only here for like 24 hours, right? Less than that. Yeah. It was like you flew in. I flew like the in the night and then left like the next afternoon. Friday morning and then left Saturday afternoon. Yeah, yeah. It was a, it was very expedited. That's for sure. Okay. Who on the team is most likely to get married first? Is it is? Who is that? Sorry, I need to stay on track. I have a, I have a follow up. Is people having boyfriends taken into account of this? No, or I just say personalities. Macy. Mm. Um, maybe a number two would be... Rebecca? Wow. I did not expect you to say that. Well, one. I think I would go Macy. That's a good question. Low key, Liv. I could see it. I could so see it actually. That yeah. Or Bergen. Yeah. I could see Bergen. I could also see that. Uh I don't know. I think I see Bergen now that her and Kayla are dating, but I don't think I would have said Bergen when she was no, single. That makes sense. You I know? I would agree with that. That yeah. Speaking of Kale. Yes. Just followed him on Instagram like yesterday. <laughs> I just realized that. I had I wasn't following him. Shout out Kale, Kale. Jacobson. Do you know who that person is? Who? I can't see. You know that. Merit, how often are you mistaken for... I'm going to butcher it. I'm not uh, even just try don't it. even say Marina it. Marina... I don't know. Bacharin? I don't know who that is. That's surprising. Do you... They, they must be... They must think... Wow. They must think that you look alike. Or something. Um, none. Because I don't know who that is. Do you have a celebrity crush? Mm... Growing up, it was always Zac Efron. I used to have a Zac Efron phone case for my blue iPhone Shut 5C. Up. I'm not <gasps> kidding. I had a blue one too. Uh, yeah. And then it cracked and I uh, like colored it with nail polish. I was so trendy. I was so Tumblr, if you will. Moving on. Dream NIL deal. That's a good one. Um, mm, I have another with like a question. brand. Yeah, it can be whatever. Mm, Would well, you have one? Yeah. Um, <laughs> for someone to give me a light blue Ford Bronco. Oh, so yeah. if anyone wants like to do that, dream car. No, Let that's that's what I was thinking a Ford Bronco, but I would want a white one. <gasps> Dare I say purple? Mm, I've never seen a purple Ford Bronco. I haven't either. I could be the first. There you go. No, my dream car was always a Ford Bronco, and then I grew up a little bit, and I was like, mm, that was a little expensive. Yeah. So that's not gonna happen. Uh, who's the funniest on the team? We actually have a lot of funny people, and all for very different reasons. Right, so the correct answer was Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you were supposed to say. Rewind. Okay. We can make the rewind noises. <laughs> Who is the funniest person on the team? Lindsay. <laughs> I would say the same. I know you would. Yeah. Uh, Kennedy is also a close second. I I think that I would... I'm sorry, but I think I would say Kenna. But well, I am think, I at least number two? Yeah, you're up there. But I think <laughs> I, You're up there. I just relate to Kenna's humor more than I relate to yours because half the time I don't get the references. <laughs> Oh, nobody understands my jokes. They just go. Yeah. So I'm like, guys, that was funny, wasn't it? And they're like, what'd you say? Yeah. What does that mean? What did you say? Brennan thinks I'm really funny. Yeah. Coach uh, thinks I'm funny. <laughs> um. Uh. Okay. Yeah. If never mind, I'm not gonna ask. That. What's your favorite brain rot? What's your what? It says, what's your favorite brain rot? But, like, I guess, like, what's your favorite thing to do? Pastime. Watch TikToks. Or just sit in silence. Yeah. 
I like to be in my so thoughts. Weird. I know that's weird, but I Mara just likes really to sit in her like thoughts in her in dark thoughts. room and just like stare at a wall. It's like bizarre. Like airplanes, I like to just look out the window sometimes and just think in my thoughts. Or, think in my thoughts. Or like a bus ride. Like I don't normally have music. I'm just thinking. No, I don't either. That's fair. I kind of just like look out the window. Yeah. Well, bus rides are sometimes fun because we get to see cities of like, we wait pause we get to see other cities yeah so it's kind of fun just to like look at the window sometimes yeah we need candy okay i know mine okay go. my favorite right now are twin snakes they're so good i'm addicted they're that? like a new thing i guess i is didn't know they existed no it's gummy one side sweet <laughs> and one side sour <laughs> oh okay I thought they're so I, good I, I, you're gonna say salty <laughs> salty and i was no. like that's, that's disgusting no and then i would also say mini starburst Kit the, Kats. The, like, unwrapped ones? Oh, yes. That's the best. Kit Kats, and then this is a really random one, but turtles. Such a grandma candy, but they're what so it, good. Is that the, like, the, like, butterscotch ones? No. No, those are, like, worthers. It's, like, chocolate and pecan? Pecan? Pecan. And caramel, I think. That makes sense. No, that sounds good. That's fair. My would be Skittles. Mm, yeah that would be i love skittles years. enough that would probably take up spot number one and number two but we'll just say number one for the sake of it i also love starburst mm-hmm. um i'm a great i'm a big fan of maybe sour patch kids that's like one of the only like sour candies i like so i do like sour patch kids and then okay this one is also like a little random but it's like the the airheads that are like bites ball but they're like balls they're like airhead like gummies almost okay so they're kind of like the size of like peanut m&ms but they're like airhead flavors airhead bites yeah they're good yeah no they're really good i like them i just really like fruity i'm not a big chocolate chocolate girl girl. what is your major and what do you want to do with it so i have a degree i believe you have one of those too don't you yeah I nah. A, yeah. They took it away. Nah. I didn't. Nah. <laughs> yes, I have a degree, a bachelor's of the arts Period. of English. I also have a minor in the women and gender studies. I don't know why I said the. <laughs> the, the Ohio State University. Period. Um, and currently, so we, so we graduated, we both graduated in May. What's, what was your bachelor's in? Child, Youth, and Family Studies. Yeah. And my minors were Education Studies and Sociology. Yeah. And then my master's degree is English Literature with the emphasis of Literary and Cultural Studies, which is basically just saying books. What's yours? What's your master's? It's Applied Sciences. So, fun fact, I'll adju- actually, actually? <laughs> um, have my master's from the College of Agriculture. <laughs> Which is actually hilarious. That is so fitting for this university. Yeah. Applied sciences basically just means I get to kind of build it however I want. (laughs) Sorry, that's really funny. Yeah, I know. From the College of Agriculture. So I'm going to have an ag master's degree. Period. Uh, What is your go-to snack? Wheat thins. Yeah, you eat a lot of wheat thins. (laughs) Is that a fat joke? No. (laughs) Just a fact. (laughs) Just a fact. My favorite snack is 1,000% microwave popcorn. True. Oh, so good. Like she's the, always eating microwave. And I don't. Popcorn. And I don't. <laughs> I, she's always eating the microwave. I don't <laughs> I like. Have an ironic question. I don't. When you're done. Okay, I'm ready. But I was just gonna say I like just the lightly salted. I don't like all the butter. I just get the salted popcorn. Ugh, <laughs> so good. <laughs> Dear God, like what? What is it? What is your tanning routine? That's just not nice. <laughs> That's rude. So they asked for both of us. Right, got got it. So I don't have one. <laughs> um, my tanning routine is uh, SPF. <laughs> just everywhere, every eighty minutes, every yeah. hour on the face. Fifty. And sometimes SPF, it's not even rubbed in. SPF fifty. <laughs> I always tell my teammates that they're going to get skin cancer from all of their tanning, fun, fun in the sun, if you will. Uh, and 
I always, what did I always say? I was like, you're gonna be 50 and ugly because you have all your skin damage. And what do you guys always say? I'm At gonna be I'm ugly anyways. Cause yeah. I'm 50 or something like that. It's either that or I'd rather be hot when I'm 18 yes. than hot when uh, I'm 50. Yeah, yeah. It was like, I'd rather be hot when I'm 20 than, and ugly when I'm 50 than like vice versa. And I was like, are you calling me ugly? No. Okay. Not at all. Got it. I just think I personally look better when I'm tan. Yeah. Personally, I think I look weird tan. That's fair. And I think it I would... think it's because it's not often. Does that make sense? Like you're not used to it. Oh yeah, definitely. Like I think if I did it more, like I'd be more, I, I'd be used to it, but it just, I don't think it doesn't fit with my jeans. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. What's your tanning routine? Or do you not want to answer? I don't wear. Her, I say her tanning routine. routine is lay outside. Um, I will admit, sometimes go to the tanning bed. <gasps> dun, dun, but I go dun. in the red light one, so it's like at least halfway good for me, you know? I don't know what that means. It's what I tell myself, but okay. it's okay. Okay. Okay, two more questions. Got go. It. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. If you oh, could create you your own language, one? what would it sound oh my like? Gosh. <laughs> Bruh, I don't even know. <laughs> I think mine would sound like a combination of I think it'd be one of the like language where the different tone of voice is, means like different words. You know what I mean? Where it's like it could be the same word but the tone of your voice when you say it determines what the word is. Like, okay. isn't it like Mandarin Chinese as like a language like that? They call them like tonal languages. Okay, okay, yeah, period. I'm That's pretty sure I'm right, but if I'm not, I apologize. I would, I would make it like a tonal language, but it would sound like, it would sound like Italian mixed with like Greek or something. Okay. I don't know how that would work considering they do have different alphabets, but I'll figure it out. Okay. Yeah. What, what would yours be? I have no idea. Okay. Well, maybe we could just like supplement that and say, what language did you take in high school? Latin. Because at the time yeah. I was potentially going to be a physical therapist. Yeah, you did. Yeah. For like a split second. I took medical Greek and I took medical yeah. Greek and Latin in college as like an elective. Yeah. It was kind of fun. Yeah. I thought I was going to be a physical therapist because actually I really didn't. I just everyone was bullying me every time I said I wanted to be a teacher because they were like, you're going to be broke. Valid. <laughs> And then I was like, you were right. And then I was like, maybe I don't want to be broke. So what's something else that's a little, a little more funding for the life I yeah, like to live? And then like, I was like, mm, physical therapy, but like I would hate 12 that. 12 years of school. Yeah, I would hate that. <laughs> then I learned how much school I had to do and how many science classes I had to take. And I was like, I'm done. What? That's a funny question. I'm scared. Okay, hurry, ask it's it. Our, I was like, is this our last question? Sure, unless it's bad. <laughs> then I'm booting it. <laughs> do you remember when we were, do you remember as well? Do you remember when we were at Rutgers? Um, yeah, slightly. And I started talking about pizza rolls and how I eat pizza rolls. Yes. This person asked to talk more about my pizza rolls. Um, she, what do you do? Bite the I corner off and then out. squeeze all the guts out? It's not guts. It's like pizza sauce. It's the BS. gut of the pizza roll. So when I was a child, I would squeeze out the innards of the pizza rolls. The guts. The guts. And I would eat the crust, and then by the end of it, I would have this little <laughs> pile of like tomato sauce, or and then like pepperoni or sausage or whatever the flavor was, and I would eat it with a spoon. Because I thought it was the best part, so I was like, I should save it for last. Plus, plus, pizza rolls when you take them out of the oven are so dang hot that when you try to eat them, you burn your mouth. Okay. So that's how I ate pizza rolls. Okay, quickly, because okay. we're not ending okay. on okay. that. Okay, okay, okay. Lindsay's going to hate this question, but I feel like it's a good one to end on. Okay. Where do you see yourself in five years? <laughs> mm. Probably playing volleyball still. Who knows where, but doing that. I'll probably... Hopefully be dating my boyfriend. Still dating? Maybe married to my boyfriend. We'll see. I don't Last know. time I asked, she I'm a said child. she wasn't getting married for like 10 years. Yeah. I think that's been notched down to like seven or something. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, probably, yeah. Maybe I'll have adopted another cat. 
Okay. Maybe a dog, but probably another cat. Yeah, it'll be a cat. Yeah, probably another cat. No, calico. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to be a crazy cat lady. Uh, I really am. And I'm leaning into that stereotype. Where are you going to be in five years? Um, Probably not still playing volleyball. Okay. As of now, I think I just want to play for a few years after college, but not like that long. Mm-hmm. Hopefully living back in Alabama and running a volleyball club. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna Alabama. are you gonna teach while you're starting to get the volleyball club up? You think? Um, no. No, just straight head at first into it. Yeah. If I need to be a teacher, I'll be a teacher. But mm-hmm. <sighs> the we'll kids see. will always be there. The kids will always be there. They will always need teachers. They'll always be there. So. Okay. Well, Merritt, you went to Big Ten Media Days last year, the second annual. Yes. Big Ten Media Days. What was your favorite part about it? And what was mm. a part about it that you weren't expecting? Mm. I would say my favorite part was, A, it's like a really cool opportunity. So like mm-hmm. seeing the Big Ten studio and like oh yeah, I bet. where they film all the shows Everything, that we watch, you yeah. know, like I thought that was really cool. And then just bumping into all of the girls that, because at the time I hadn't played in the Big Ten yet. So yeah. it was like girls that I've only watched on TV, mm-hmm. but then it was like, oh, hey. So it was nice to meet all of them. It was really cool to see everyone. I would say what I didn't expect was how sore my feet were going to be. Yeah, you and Lexi did talk about that for a long time. We didn't bring a change of shoes. Yeah, that was crazy. Make sure you take a change of shoes. Yeah, I don't know if I can do heels. It was was really, really cool, but it was like long. I bet. And I bet it's about a bunch of running around. It's like all shoved in really quick, but it was a really cool experience. That's good. What are you looking forward to now that you're going this year? I'm really excited, I think, to do a lot of the same that you said. Mm -hmm. I I find, um, like, the studio and all that stuff very interesting. So I think seeing all those behind the scenes, um, I'm really excited just to see how much stuff they're going to fit into the short amount of time that we're there and how I remember last year how you see how they use that content like Mm -hmm. year round Mm -hmm. so I think it'll just be really interesting to see the diverse aspects of everything that we do just because they do use that stuff for like the whole season yeah so that'll be super super fun and I'm excited to spend the day with Kenna I think we'll have a lot of fun there and coach but aren't but isn't he like separate doing a lot of the stuff Uh, or is he together okay I'm excited him the whole time I'm excited to spend time with coach and Kenna Especially because, like me and Mary just said, me and Kenna are the funniest people on the team. Yeah. Yeah. So, we hope Coach survives. Yeah, that's true. He might laugh to death. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well. Awesome. This has been... Awesome. No, that wasn't what you were supposed to say. This has been episode five of Coach. Oh, I was going to say, thank you for watching <laughs> thank episode you for five, watching. a.k.a. the best episode, <laughs> a.k.a. your favorite two seniors. See you in the fall.